What if we use the RTX 4060 to play the latest AAA games on a 4K monitor? Because why not? Let's find out. I paired the MSI Ventus 2X RTX 4060 with the Ryzen 5 7600X CPU as part of the Be Quiet PC build powered by MSI. And we will be experiencing the games today on the 4K 144Hz MSI G321CU monitor. If you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, you can find them at the links in the description below. This is off-topic, but really important. We have almost reached 1000 subscribers on the iVadim Unbox channel. Please help us reach that goal faster by simply searching for iVadim Unbox on YouTube or by following the link in the description below. Let's start with God of War Ragnarok. As you can see, we truly are using a 4K monitor, but obviously we are not going to be able to achieve a good playable experience at native 4K resolution using the RTX 4060. That's where DLSS resolution comes in, and I think we should start using DLSS performance right away and graphics quality set to high. Essentially, that is 1080p upscaled to 4K. In terms of image quality, I would argue that using DLSS even on lower quality, which would be ultra performance, 720p upscaled to 4K, looks much better on a large monitor such as a 27 inch or a 32 inch like this one here, much better than native 1080p. And using DLSS performance, which is 1080p upscaled to 4K, is... Um, is problematic, <laughs> I would say, because take a look at this. We're getting 40 plus FPS, and there will be dips below that from time to time, because surely this cannot be the most graphically demanding area in the game. But this is still very much playable, although personally I prefer having at least 60 FPS. I'm fine with drops to around 55, 50, if it's rare. I think we have to make some adjustments to try and achieve a better, more fluid experience. Let's use DLSS Ultra Performance, that's 720p upscaled to 4K. And this still looks better than native 1080p. I'm telling you, DLSS is pretty cool. FPS is at 50 plus. Let's see if we'll drop to 40s. No, I don't think that will happen. 58, 62, 63, oh, 71, 69. Very nice. I think this experience right here is pretty good. I don't see any issues playing this game like so. It is enjoyable. In terms of energy efficiency, this setup is pretty sick. Check it out. CPU power usage, 70 watts. GPU power usage, 115 watts. Of course, native 4K resolution or even DLSS set to quality looks much nicer. But if the RTX 4060 is all you have in your system, then it is still very much possible to enjoy the latest games such as God of War Ragnarok on a 4K monitor. And of course, if you want even higher FPS, then you can always lower the graphics quality. Let's set it to medium now and have a look what that's like. And at this point, we are getting uh, well above 60 FPS. We are in the 70s and even 90s from time to time, depending on where you're looking. Let's see how it will behave during a flight. Let's go. You see, now we are not getting dips below 60 like ever. And the game still looks fine. I think PlayStation owners will be jealous if you show them this experience. Since we're getting such a high FPS using medium graphics quality preset, let's increase DLSS quality to performance. And yeah means that we are still going to get dips below 60 from time to time. However, I would argue that this might be worth it because uh, the image clarity is nicer. It is not as pixelated, especially if you're looking at uh, 
finer details such as grass, branches, hair, fur. And having 50 plus FPS in worst case scenarios is not too bad actually. This still feels like a good experience. I'm still enjoying the game. Basically you have multiple options available to you thanks to DLSS. This is great. Black Myth Wukong is the biggest challenge for the RTX 4060 in this test because this game is hella demanding. It requires a lot of GPU compute power, but we are still going to try and make it work with the 4060. I'm thinking let's use high graphics quality preset and start with uh, DLSS performance mode that's 50%. Right off the bat, <laughs> it's already looking pretty good. We are getting above 40 FPS. This is not bad, but in this game I really want to see close to 60 FPS and uh, ideally above 60 FPS at all times. So while this is a completely playable experience, let's adjust some settings to try and get that 60 FPS. Lowering DLSS resolution upscaling quality to ultra performance will help. That is 33%. Let's set it and check it out. Yes, this is very close to what I'm looking for. We're dropping below 60 FPS from time to time. For example, right now, 58, 57 FPS. Let's see how the 4060 will handle fights. Do it. There we go. <laughs> that was good. That was very good, actually. The experience is enjoyable. Let's go. Combo. And the game still looks okay. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's got nothing on DLSS quality on a 4K monitor, but I'll say it again. This right here is much better than native 1080p experience on a 27 inch or a 32 inch monitor. We're starting to see some minor imperfections in uh, graphics quality because we're upscaling from 720p. Let me try and show it to you. Those leaves have minor ghosting. I don't think it is even visible on the camera, but it is present. Believe me, it is uh, not very noticeable. You'll really have to actually stop and look for it. If you're just running around, fighting, you're not going to notice it. There's also some noise in reflections because there's not enough uh, information left to upscale from. Take a look at that. Those puddles don't look as nice. Just for comparison, let me bring uh, the DLSS quality to quality mode now <laughs> to just show you the difference. Have a look at this. Same scene and the puddles look different. Yeah, you see, they're more detailed and there's less noise. But unfortunately, <laughs> the FPS is kind of low, 30 plus. So this is not a good way to play this game. Another thing we can try is lowering graphics preset to medium and using DLSS performance mode that is 50% resolution upscale. No bad so far. 50 plus FPS, actually close to 60. We're getting 57, 58 FPS, 56 in this area. I'm curious, will there be as many visual issues as we've had with uh, DLSS Ultra Performance? Let's see. Hmm. The leaves appear to be working fine now. I'm not seeing any ghosting whatsoever. And the reflections in puddles? Yeah, there's <laughs> pretty much no reflections. I think that's because we've selected medium graphics quality preset. And I can see that uh, the water 
does not offer us any reflections either. Maybe that's for the better because the overall presentation now looks cleaner and nicer. And the foliage looks more detailed. There's just a lot more details in the foliage. If you're looking at something fine, grass, trees, it is much better when you're using DLSS performance instead of ultra performance mode. Yeah, I definitely prefer this set of settings if I were playing this game using the RTX 4060 on the 4K monitor, then I would use these settings. Medium graphics preset and DLSS set to performance. That's 50%. Let's test the same scene just to make sure that it is indeed a better experience. Yes, close to 60 FPS at all times. Yeah, <laughs> you did not expect this, huh? My second form, it's not even my final form as well, so you're screwed. <laughs> this is good stuff. I'm really surprised that the little 4060 can actually handle Black Myth Wukong on a 4K monitor. Awesome. Next up is Space Marine 2. Let's try leaving graphics quality on high and uh, we are definitely going to use DLSS performance mode because there's no way we can get away with using balanced or anything above that. And judging by the performance in the starting area, I think we'll have to adjust those graphics settings further because we are now getting 50 plus FPS in this area right here. Indeed, when we are planet side, FPS is uh, dropping below 50. Yeah, maybe for some of you this will be okay, but honestly, in a game like this, it's a fast paced, a lot of action. I like when FPS doesn't drop below 50, so at least 55 to 60 FPS consistently. That's what I want to see. So let's try and achieve that with uh, DLSS. Let's set it to ultra performance and see how the game looks. Right, in terms of performance, this is exactly what I'm looking for. However, the image quality is obviously not as nice as we've seen with uh, DLSS set to performance. Although, I think this is acceptable. It doesn't look horrible. As long as you're not focusing on finer details, I think it should be fine. Hold on. Let's go and experience some combat and I'll tell you what I think about this quality. Oh, we've got some enemies. Let's go. Oh yes, this is what I want. Come here. You filthy bugs. <laughs> Yes, let's go. You thought that you could just take our planet? No way. This is a perfectly fine experience. I don't see any problems with it. When you are just fighting, you're not really looking around too much and uh, not noticing any problems in terms of like image quality. So DLSS Ultra Performance seems to be working quite well in this particular game. I think it's enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. And 50 plus FPS feels okay. But if this is not enough performance for you, then you can always just lower that graphics quality to medium. Let's keep resolution upscaling on ultra performance for now. Hmm, the performance did not improve by that much. Sure, we're getting a little bit more FPS, but we're still just at 60 plus, which means that there will be dips below 60 once we enter combat. 
I'm curious, what will happen if we use uh, medium graphics quality settings and uh, performance DLSS? 50 plus FPS. Yeah, this is definitely not going to work <laughs> for my liking, that is, because uh, that means that we'll experience drops to 40 plus. I think we should stick to ultra performance mode DLSS and just test how it works. Will there be dips below 60? Will we experience them often? Let's find out. Where's the swarm? There it is. 61 FPS. Let's go. Oh, no, you don't. Great. Yeah, we're still experiencing dips below 60. So, huh, this is a viable way to play the game. I still think that this is fine. It is still enjoyable. Although I am noticing some uh, visual problems here and there in terms of like some assets are extra pixelated compared to others. For example, right now I'm looking at this image and it looks fine. It looks okay. Of course, it's not as sharp as native 4K, but it is okay. However, some assets are just pixelated. There is no problems in this particular scene right here, but earlier when I was taking off uh, from the base there was some flickering just because we didn't have enough pixels to upscale from and uh, that was kind of messing with the immersion. So far this is the only game that we've tested uh, that offers below decent experience. Considering the fact that this is a $290 graphics card I'm just baffled that we could still play games on a 4k monitor and it was a decent experience. Of course, this is all thanks to DLSS resolution upscaling and unfortunately, 8 gigabytes of memory is simply not enough to utilize frame generation technology. That would have been nice, but it requires extra video memory to run. And unfortunately, the 4060 simply doesn't have enough. There you have it. This combo actually works. 4060 plus 4K monitor is a good thing. If you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below, including the full list of PC parts for this build right here. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this setup, and don't forget to reward this video with a like if you enjoyed it, that helps out a lot, shows your appreciation for the work I do here, and subscribe for more content like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.